So, the midpoint, as you guys can see, is Siegfried Line. Uh, like I said, this point kind of favors the axis. You know, looking at, you know, the approach, the axis do kind of have an easier time getting up in there. Um, look for the allies, and you even see a move mark. This southern portion right here is huge. If the allies can get across the river, you know, get a nice little foothold, like right by this bunker here, and push into the forest, claim this compound, huge for the allies. Uh, looks like everything else is pretty standard. Might have a truck going straight for it, and another truck cutting north. Uh, pretty standard stuff. So you got two trucks in the north, one truck. Like I said, these guys are probably going hard south to this move mark. And otters, almost have all their nodes built. Looks like my man is about to finish up. So, almost full 60s. They are on the way. That being said, though, uh, they are playing with APL rules. Like I said, they are getting ready for the APL. So, you're going to have one arty gun unkillable. Uh, you know, Panther Band and uh, nodes are protected. So, pretty much from the start, everything is kosher. So, look at the map. Actually, it looks like they missed a node. Probably just say screw it, get into the fight, and then get a guy back to handle it. Um, of course, otters are going to be in blue. Uh, they have call trail and mouse back approach. Mouse back being their HQ point, call trail being their fourth point, midpoint of Siegfried line. Easier going to be in red. They have Jacob's barn and Hurricane approach. So not a terrible layout. Um, both teams look for them to control this area just north of Siegfried. Because whoever, whoever can get their hands on that will be able to push the next point pretty easily. So, looking around, we have this truck. Actually, kind of expect him to be, there he is, he's getting south. I was going to say, I expected this guy to be a little bit further south. But it looks like, look at all, two support guys. Looks like he's probably running an running anti-tank. And obviously they're going to get a garrison down with Jamato. Easy being really ambitious with Artie. Looks like they want to just shut that area down. And now we see Easy pulling in from the east as the Axis. And only two guys, actually some just blew the fuck up. So the truck blew up. That's a recon vehicle. Looks like they perched him just to shoot trucks pulling out here. But kind of expected more than this. As far as otters go. But truck blows up. Let's see how they're deployed. Maybe a truck got deleted. That's why they're kind of lagging behind a little bit. Might be playing for the recap, but knowing the otters, guys, I doubt that might have been their, their plan. I could be wrong. And this is always smart with trucks. Keep driving with trucks. You might be able to burn some outposts. And of course, that is Forbes with an MG. So he might clap some cheeks. Kind of looking at how this is laying out. Easy, definitely with control of the high ground. We do see our otters start kind of pushing from call trail. Not a lot of dudes up north. But there we go. Now we're starting to see the southern push. Yeah, Lindros, Reinley, Free the Chickens, and Maxi Pad. Easy, though. Looking like they take it. And they actually go up three to two. Oh boy. Hold up, with pressure on the next point. 
Let's see what they have over here. They have Pisces. And it's Sasquatch with Bobby. So easy playing this match extremely aggressively. Kind of surprised this garrison isn't lit up. Actually, looking at it, Bobby's not really that close. I'm guessing this Gary is inside. Oh, yep, inside the bunker. Pretty common strategy whenever you have bunkers like that employed. And I'm not really sure. Only one squad lead spawning in. A few guys are modders. They go in the garrison that's by the strong point. So that should kind of hold off any capture progress Easy has. Supplies are coming in. Oh, sounds like something's blowing up. Damn, all right. Edgar's being a tank or an AT gun across the way. Looks like there's an AT gun in there. But good play by Easy, because now you see a lot of guys from Otter coming back to handle this. In fact, maybe too much. So I know it is kind of easy for Blue Zone Garys, like just get a lot of dudes back. But that being said, though, Fox Squad, my man Bonzo. Let's see what he's up to. So him and Will B getting some kills. Will B getting shot up though. Bonzo, he might get a sneaky outpost up here. That'd be a huge play if he did. And then free the chickens and Ryan Lee. Making their way in close. Ryan Lee getting shot. Free the chickens, he's gonna run into Calvis. Right, is there a vehicle or anything? Might still be the truck. But, and we do see the arty party. He's gonna land by that Panzer IV. Free the chickens though, he claps Calvis. And this otter team. Brinjar, he's stacking bodies. Will be. He's getting lit up by an MG. Looks like that salami in the back. But Otter kind of dangerously getting some guys close. Man, Fox is outpost not that far down the hill. Looks like Otter is a realized, okay, not a big threat. They're going to start pushing into Siegfried line. Let's check out just north of the point. You got Chips, Shep, and Schmidt. So they're calling out an easy garrison by Scar. So nothing really too much going on over there. Otters though, making decent pressure on Siegfried line. Turn on the map real quick. They do have guys on the strong point. Easy's just... They have a heavy concentration of forces here. So now we're probably going to see Easy pull back. Yeah, this is a pretty big threat. Do you have the garrison right in front of us in the box trench? In fact... I guess that's devilish. Either devilish or devilish. Well, we were just seeing bodies getting stacked. Looks like Otter Artie. <laughs> the Artie of Otters. That's a fucking tongue twister. Starting to make its presence known. I don't know. Is he aiming for that Gary? I don't know. I guess we'll find out. Devilish though, clapping some otter cheeks. Starting to make some plays. In fact, that already is landing decently close to where we know that Gary is. Oh man. 
and got bombarded. Easy though, taking... You know, doing what they can with their advantage. You know, Safe Free Line is a massive pain in the ass to cap as the allies. And you see uh, actually an otter bombing run coming in. Looks like it's going to land right on the garrison. Uh, we should see it coming in just in a sec. Easy's really going to have to... Really going to have to rally after this one. See, did it get the garrison? It did get the garrison. So that is huge. Absolutely huge. Let's see if otters can actually push in and start making some heavy pressure. Or is Easy going to replace that really quick? So they do have squad leads alive. They got Dill Pickle. They got Devilish. They even have Cooper with supplies. So look for them to replace that. Oh, I was just about to say. Free the chickens, holding ship W. Can you make it into the point? Both teams just feeling each other out, man. Easy with the strong advantage at the start. Like I said before, Siegfried line is a tough point to try to take. That being said, though, Call Trail is being contested. So let's see. Once again, you got Pisces way in the back. So that's literally it. Um, yeah, Otters, they have enough guys around. They're going to basically defend that all day long. In fact, I'd like to see more of them go on the attack. That being said, that's still contested. Pisces might have an outpost back here. He's probably placed one. Playing it really smart, though. Busting out the binos. Never seen a squad lead using binos. I'll have a play. So, I mean, the, the game... What cracks me up? The game gives you them for free. Might as well use them. Then you also got Sasquatch and Ocean. They're pretty much pushing right up the point. You see where options mark is. That's actually a really accurate mark. In fact, yeah, we see it right next to Sasquatch. So you got the spotter and Ocean the sniper. Getting ready to just shift W up to the point. So man, scripts are going to get him. Damn. That's why it pays to take corner slowly in this game. You know, time to kill is so punishing. Like, shouldn't have rushed that corner real quick. And once again, Pisisk. Looks like otters are kind of on him, though. This garrison lighting up. Looks like that's my man Bobby. Although, does he know where the garrison is? And that must be an easy bombing run. It looks like you got some friendlies with that, but... Looks like he was just trying to clear off the front of the objective real quick. You know, just throw something down. But... I don't know, man. Did not get a lot of kills. In fact, I think he got more friendlies than he did enemies. But kind of is what it is. And as far as... Hurricane Forest, this is what you like to see. As I said before, this area just north of Siegfried Line, huge territory for pressure in either fourth point. You know, if you're the Axis, you want to control this to frontline call trail. If you're the Allies, you want to use this to frontline Jacob's Barn. So, good playmaking, good use of uh, map control by Easy, Easy Tag Team. Making me eat my words of saying otters might be better. <laughs> but. That being said, though, still getting some pressure behind the point. 
Really tough hill to climb as the allies. Siegfried line, that that point is such a pain in the ass. Such a massive pain in the ass. That being said though, looks like my man Salami. He has taken out the garrison. What's gonna happen here? My streamers curse him, might not. In fact, yeah, wow. That <laughs> Oh my god, that's amazing. What even? I even called it too. I'm like, this guy's probably getting streamers cursed. That's all right. Shame. Let's take the scoreboard off for a minute. Let's see what we got going on here. 330 munitions, 900 plus manpower. Just shy of 300 fuel. Uh, they have a medium just north of the call trail. They have a heavy, pretty much right around where Ruins is. They have a garrison by where Scar is. So as I was talking about, that nice little map control, you know, Otters might start pinching down on that. So, decent garrison setup. Garrison on the front of the point goes warm. So, you know, yeah, you're down 3-2. Actually, the medium just went down. Don't have enough for a second heavy. So, but he might take something, you know, just to buy up the time. And actually, let me look back at what's happening. He's just starting to push right into the front door. Back otters. Man, where was this last night when we played you guys? <laughs> you guys didn't give us shit in the front door, man. Taking it easy on easy. That being said, though, every every inch that otters are giving easy right now. Uh, I mean, actually, the force pushing here is a little bit bigger. But you know, my man Sith holding shift W. And the maxi pad might meet each other. Come out on top, Maxi Pad putting down an out. Oh, put it on a Gary. Sith, and my man can just bust out a rocket and splash against the wall. He might take it out. It looks like Maxi Pad knows where he is. Or at least I have a really good idea. Sith might be playing the long game, though. Oh! The curse of bold actions. You know, you miss one shot, GG. Your ass, <laughs> your ass is going back to the killed in action screen. So, checking out the map real quick, make sure we got what's going on. Right now, all the guys see the camera right here, right in front of us. We're seeing a, an otter's kind of flank. Not seeing a lot of guys hold shift W. They're just kind of chilling. I don't know. Shep God and Will B. They're starting to push. But not really. Not really in a hurry to get anywhere. And it looks like Easy knows that. You got Sith, Forbes, iCheap. You know, they're going to start pushing out, starting to challenge us. Although, man, Chips, he's holding shift W. Check him out. I mean, it's moving. But. Yeah, Otters uh, got a nice little line going. Looks like they kind of shut down. Yeah, in fact, nothing really going on front door. But looks like they're getting a nice little line going. Facing Siegfried line. Got Cooper, Costco, E Rock, and Sith. Oh, he just got blasted. Spawning in right here. In fact, doesn't look like they know where Chips is coming in from. Hey, that's a garrison. Oh, man. Wrong time to not have your gun out. Damn, those split second decisions, man, you see, they cost a lot. And Otter's going from pitching a tent to starting to push. Oh man, Chips leading the charge. 
You got Wiser back here. He's he placed a garrison behind. In fact, now it's unlocked. So easy, not really watching the back door. That will be, yeah, here's a Gary right here. Right in front of the camera. This could be sneaky, man. They're going to start getting some guys filtering into Siegfried line. Plus, this is a decent garrison to start getting some pressure on Jacobs once you cap. So. Unless a wiser, he's calling out this tiger. He knows, man. He knows, he knows too much. So, as you're real quick, I got to answer something real quick. Oh, you're not going to. There we go. For some reason, Twitch acts fucking stupid sometimes. All right, back to it. Sorry about that, folks. But as I said, I mean, Ralph is going to take down an enemy garrison and the supplies with it. You know, this garrison back here might start bearing some fruit. Garrison in the north gets locked. In fact, now the back here is against locked. And they don't really have anything. Oh. So I may have just got wiped. Uh, <laughs> while he's uh, trying to take down the garrison. So Easy definitely knows shit's coming. And kind of surprised the otters not really have anything front door. Um. So yeah, Easy making some plays. Oh, Surge, this gunfight's going to decide a lot right here. And he domes wiser. That's huge, because if he lost that gunfight, I mean, maybe Ant would have been close enough right in front of us. But if he'd have lost that gunfight, might see another spawn wave off that Gary. And easier locking it out. Doesn't look like they know exactly where it is yet. But... Yeah. Looks like enemy recon planes coming in overhead. Garrison behind call trail for otters is going warm. So. Yeah, both teams kind of. I'm just letting shit happen. So. Yeah, because now... And this happens with pretty much any hella loose competitive kind of game. Um, you know, the opening strat, it gets you so far, but then once you're past that point, what do you do? All right. We see otters starting to push some squad leads up, you know, getting a front line. Commander's going to drop some supplies, you know, to get kind of a front line Gary going, you know, get to Siegfried line. Still have a decent force up here, even though they lost the Gary. Um, I actually looks like, no, they just have Nagat and Jig, squad leads, maybe option pushes with these guys. So, Otter's kind of doing a decent job. I mean, it could be better, but doing a decent job of, like, boxing Easy in. I mean, Easy has something up in this area or maybe somewhere back here. That's how they keep getting guys kind of in the back of the point. But... 
you know, eventually if the otters keep it up, might see, might see easy crack just a little bit. In fact, yeah, looking back here, you just have it Sasquatch. That's about it from easy. Although he's on the Gary and he did just burn it. Sorry for the frantic camera work, but I had to catch that. Um, so Otter's defense and the work cut out for him. Um, they do have a decent amount on defense, but looks like they're still kind of creating offense anyway, even though it might be numerically diminished. So, I will say, also <laughs> on Twitch, Crash Marine, thank you. Um, yeah, Ghost Guy, I am on YouTube. Uh, I like half-ass have my twitch set up so i don't even have my fucking youtube link in there but uh yeah it is on a 15 minute delay so anything in chat I'm not gonna be able to get to you right away um that being said while i'm answering chat uh otters starting to make some pressure you know i was talking about how this attack might not have a lot of sauce but they're getting in just fine i mean it's not a ton of dudes but they're still pushing. They're holding shift W. Even Fox Squad, he has an outpost close. Easy, though. Yeah, they're just pushing, dude. Compound down here. South, southeast of Siegfried Line. Good to see a couple guys finally making their way to it. That ant and salami, they're going to try to contest this. Ant pretty much shuts it down. Free the chickens. Now, the ants are getting shut down, though. We shot at from the point. But yeah, not a lot of sauce from the otter's attack. Looks like it kind of dies out. So... I'm going to keep saying it all game, man. Siegfried Line as the allies. This point is a bitch to try to take. You know, especially if you have, you know, if the enemy team has any kind of competency, you know, guys knowing how to create effective fields of fire, good luck. Um, and then Ghost Guy. <laughs> I love him in Crash Marines. Like, he's on a delay. I'm like, he's asking questions. Uh, mostly just how they loose. That's what I do. In fact, Otter's trying an airhead with a bombing run combo. Uh, kind of bold. Although it might pay off. Kind of surprised to see Fox Squad. In fact, you know, let's see if this pays off. I gotta see this. Is it gonna get the Gary again? Indeed, it does. Where's the airhead? It hasn't landed yet. It's gonna land like somewhere around here. Oh, yeah, we see it coming in. So. Looks like it's gonna be kind of hidden by the bush. My man Dill Pickle is not fooled. Question is, uh, is someone gonna shoot him before he makes it there? In fact, yeah, that's exactly what happens. So otters, they might get this... They might get this airhead off just by association. Although Lockpan, he is waiting. He is waiting for that spawn. In fact, if I were him, dude, just set up. Yep, yep, there they are. Baddies. Otters are starting to make plays. None of the easy grenades actually making it to that 
uh, managing to take out that airhead. That is amazing. Oh, they are pushing in. In fact, it looks like an easy bombing run is going to come and answer this. Yeah, it's going to take that airhead out. It does. Meanwhile, call trail being... Call trail being pressured, being contested. In fact, Siegfried line just went contested for a sec. Yeah, but Otter's starting to make some noise. Easy with the garrison, though. They love putting this thing in this box trench. Absolutely love putting it in that box trench. Man. So... I guess I can call it the second real big gamble from Otters doesn't pay off. You know, the first one being the garrison kind of behind the point. Second one being the airhead bombing run combo. So, you know, Otter's taking some swings. They're getting some misses, but, you know, in a 3-2 game, all you really need is one of them to land. And then you're kind of, you know, off to the races. I'll be inside the Otter recon plane spotting some shit. Otter Garrison's lighting up. Free the chicken, Schmidt and Bonza holding shift W. Devilish has enough of that. Bonzo, you hear the M1 ping. Trades out the ass. Scripture coming in, finishing shit off. Man, he's dunking on Calvis. So. I mean, once again, pressure on the point. Easy must have a decent spawn containing this. I mean, I have a feeling like the longer that easy kind of lets this go on you know eventually otters are going to find a crack i mean they're literally just pushing up the hill right up to easy i mean they got three infantry outposts and a recon outpost so i mean they're just spawning in holding ship w but if you're easy you gotta have some guys start taking runs off the hill to clear this. And in fact, it sounded like a rocket just took out that OP. In fact, I wonder who the hell shot that. Might have been Sith. If that's the case, that's a damn good rocket. But... Yeah, easy. They're gonna have to start burning this shit. If they want to, you know, kind of clear this off and get otters off their off their lawn, <laughs> but otters, uh, give them credit, man. They are stubborn. In fact, Satchel just goes off. Satchel goes off and just nukes the fucking bunker. In fact, otters look like they have an idea where that garrison is. Dropping already on it. Finally getting some squad leads south. Oh, this area down here is really vital for the allies to mount an attack. Kind of surprised they haven't really done much. You know, as far as trying to hold this. 
Fall trail though, getting lit up. Actually, Stuka strike. This thing gonna land. Oh, there we go. Actually takes down a tank right over there. Right in front of us. Pretty much along the main house. Everybody camps behind. And that is a 76 down. Call trail though, getting pressured. Yeah, Pisces, Bobby, and Dank Nugs. Pushing the way. Otter Garrison. Miraculously, it's in the middle of the point and hasn't been bombed or anything. But. Looks like Otter is realizing, you know, not a huge threat. Don't need to bring the whole team back. That's good. Oh man, Toxic NBK. He's probably back here doing some stuff. But. Battlefield kind of taking shape. You know, we're almost 40 minutes into this one. Let's check out the map, take the scoreboard down, check out the uh, resources. So another 76 already up. You know, we just saw one get nuked by a... Uh, just saw it get nuked by a precision strike. Otters keeping tons of pressure on Easy. Easy just refusing to quit. Hold on, my man Nick, he's in the back. Him, Schmidt, and Scripture. Looks like Scripture knows where Gary is. He's going to go take it down. Either with a satchel or by hand. He's a shotgun engineer. But. Otters, though. Like I said, easy. You need to push out, man. You need to start wiping some spawns. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Oh, this guy's fucking bugging me. <laughs> oh, man. This guy. <laughs> this guy in my fucking Twitch chat's trying to give me artwork. Um, no thanks. I, I, I either make everything myself or I actually have a, a buddy that makes my stuff for me. So, it's all good. Um, back. Easy takes out a garrison on ruins. And now they're starting to threaten the garrison itself. Might have to check this out real quick. Back toxic with a recon guy. And a Pisces. He's messing around and about. Looks like Guardsman knows where he's at. Claps Guardsman. Back, he is just north of that garrison. Yeah, I mean, it's right there. So, he might hear it. Kind of surprised he hasn't tried going for it, but... I mean, who knows? I mean, still, some cap progress. I mean, this is wild. Now they're now he's on the Gary. Gets dunked on. Oh man, Jimmy. So, that's what it is. That attack kind of peters out. Easy though. Still holding out. Looks like a man just got flung. <laughs> it's always dope whenever you see a guy get shot and you see him like flying in the air and shit. Um, yeah. It's. I mean, just looking at how this is developing, I mean. It's taken a while. But otters seem like to be in pretty decent position to kind of catch Siegfried Lion in a pocket. Like, 
I mean, the only thing really safe and easy right now is this garrison right here. But, ironically enough, my man Wiser, the commander, had his dick in the dirt. Now he's up. I ironically, he's the guy leading the charge. Not something a commander usually does, but it seems like Wiser is not no ordinary commander. So. Oh, some guys holding shift W, cracking some skulls. Devilish and Brinjar, can they save the point? My man, Chips. He's coming. Let's see him make a play. Chips gets a clap on Brinjar. And now Otters. I mean, it's like they'll get close and then get kind of wiped a bit, but you know they're still coming on strong. So still getting around, still getting in there. being said though they're gonna keep getting pressure on Siegfried line it's like so they get pressure it peters out they get pressure it peters out but once again cap progress on call trail and it's literally just two dudes just Pisces and Bobby and looks like Otter's realizing hey we only need one guy to spawn back in the strong point we're holding already not a big deal and once again, airhead, basically the same spot. So it looks like my guy just clicked it and sent it. Um, in fact, yeah, it looks like it is landing like in the exact same spot. So, and I imagine they probably plotted out this bush. They're like, Hey, what's something that can hide an airhead? looks like this, but that being said, Let's say the only guy that's seen is devilish. And doesn't look like he knows exactly where it is. <laughs> doesn't look like Oh my god, are you Oh my god. Oh my god, it's It might get a spawn. In fact, it probably, it, well, actually, they probably shouldn't. <laughs> Call Trail's getting lit up, but it might. <sighs> Man. That's scary, though. I mean, seeing Easy just running past that, that's amazing. But looking back at Call Trail, though, not a lot of dudes. And a bombing run is that no that's an easy bombing run looks like they're sending it is that gonna wipe it no misses the airhead i was gonna say that's an easy bombing run misses the airhead It's like, which one do I look at? <laughs> uh oh. Man. So much shit going on. Easy getting some pressure, call trail, and taking down the garrison on the point. Otters responding, but then, you know, otters have an airhead just outside the strong point of Siegfried line. And Easy still has no idea this is here. So that is amazing. I need to plot this for my own notes. <laughs> that is amazing. And they're getting waves off on it. 
Call trail still being captured though. Oh, uh, looks like they're calling out a garrison west of the point. Are we gonna see a good old fashioned cap race? Oh man. Let's check out what call trail's looking like. And easier balls deep. In fact, is that an airhead of Easy's own? Indeed it is. It looks like it's a Sasquatch trying to defend it, but he can't. Both Easy and Otters are still capping. Oh boy, this battle, this battle is halfway over and now we are actually getting a good old fashioned cap race. Both teams kind of in a similar position. And the fact that like, it's just a few guys in the strong point. And if you're these easy guys, you just gotta stay alive. <laughs> you like no matter what, you just stay alive. Oh. Uh oh. Easy still capping. Are they gonna do it? That call trail not being capped anymore. Take free line not being capped anymore. My otters get a Gary up. Oh man. Look at a bag of Siegfried line. Still, also thank you for the follow, my man. Dis what the fuck. Otters though, they get a Gary up just to answer call trail. Still have some dudes around Siegfried line. Yeah, Easy's gonna have to dig this out. Got some outposts and shit around the point. Otters though, really pulling back to answer the call. The call that is called trail. And it looks like Easy have kind of transitioned to get uh, maybe a few more guys in the attack, but not much. So you kind of have a like a period of you know both teams kind of answering the call as far as like hey when you guys back on defense and shit like that well that being said otters start capping again i mean it's just a fucking bloodbath right here i mean you could but can you imagine being like free of the chickens you just shooting up the hill at the baddies And they actually have an outpost on the point. Oh, my man, Ant. Oh. <laughs> Streamer's curse. It is alive and well. That being said though, Otter's starting to cap once again. Not anymore though, some dudes got blown up. Easy capping call trail, Otter's capping sick free line. Otter bombing run falling just east of point. Back here comes the pain train. Doesn't get a lot of dues, but looks like it just gets enough. That's my man Widow gonna come in here and make a play. Oh, shoots janitor, doesn't kill janitor. Oh dude, just get in the trench, burn an outpost. Do something cool. Do something cool. Widow, clapping cheeks. Burns the outpost. And that play right there, I mean that might have kind of stymied the otter push otter once again stabilizing things on call trail but Siegfried line man what a painful ass point
Oh, satchel. <laughs> that satchel just killed a ton of dudes. I don't know if that was an easy satchel or an otter satchel, but it killed friend and foe. Whoever put that thing down. That being said. Um. Yeah, I mean, you're looking at it, folks. <laughs> this is Siegfried Line is grind central. Uh, you know, as the allies, I mean, this is such a tough push. But both teams, both teams doing pretty much what they need to do in this situation. I'd love to see some dudes from Easy be a little bit more aggressive. You know, see if you can come down to the riverbank and start wiping some of these OPs. You know, really get the heat off of you. I mean, they don't know this. You know, I'm obviously a caster. I know this, but, you know, otters have nothing in D7 and 8. So, you know, they're just relying. They're just living off OPs right now. So, I mean, if you're easy, you know, getting nades, getting rockets, getting shells, start going downhill, start burning all this shit up. Otters are kind of going to be on the back foot. But that being said, a lot easier than done. So, sorry if I sound kind of weird. I'm like stuffed up for some reason. Now we got a heavy pretty much right beneath us. Now, where is he? Oh, there he is. This course is manned by Kalashnikov and Naders. Pretty decent tankers. Not sure where the easy tanks are. Otter's gonna garrison up. That's good. Let's supplement this attack. Um, garrison way northeast gets wiped. Kind of obvious garrison, but you never know. Teams might not really be paying attention. But. That being said, though, coming up on the 35 minute mark. Easy and Otters going at it. It looks like this 76, he's starting to move up. Like, screw it, man. We're going for it. Also, Flintlock, thank you very much for the follow. So, my man. Yeah, I mean, at this point in the game, if you're otters, you just stick to it. You know, there's... You're basically trying to force easy into keeping this up for 90 minutes, right? But like Siegfried line, this point usually gets capped by the axis first, you know, unless the allies just have an amazing start and the axis kind of start like shit. Um, but actually it looks like some LPs and shit just got wiped. 76, so he's going for a dive. Once again, Haggard, Kalashnikov, and Naders. Yeah, if you're otters, you just keep on grinding, dude. Let's say they're really trying to control this northern area once again. I kind of want to see what the 76 does, honestly. You'd love to see the infantry just get on him and push. But, I mean, my man... Looking around, there is no one out here. I mean, some guys over there. But... Man.
Would love to see him get some infantry support. So. Also, Wiley Wolf, thank you for following. Um, Piney Point, what server is this? This is actually an easy server. Um, of course, this server's private. You know, it's an actual, you know, match uh, between easy and otters. So it's not not necessarily a server you could just hop on and join. Um, that being said, though, otters starting to get control of this southern portion. Garrison's warm, though. Once again, my man Widow. Coming in, making plays. That's the second big play my man's made that... Well, I mean... Who knows? He might have made more, and I'm just dog shit at catching it. But... That looks like he just went down. But... Huge play from your boy. Like I said, that's the second one I caught. Easy, though. They're holding on, man. And this 76, my man turned around. He came back. <laughs> Hager, Kalashnikov, and Naders. They have to know, like... Uh-oh. So you called that in, thinking about me on stationary. But, like, they have to know this garrison's right here. Or at least have an inkling. Like, especially if, like, easy guys keep popping out of the woodwork. Like. It looks like easy's getting some AT guys. Brinjar with the destruction of the 76. So, my man was on a tear for a hot minute. Actually, the other 76 is still up on the hill. Excuse me. That, of course, is Jizzbeard the Pirate, Comrade Grin, and, and uh, Chemdog. Coming in with the second 76. All right, let's look at the uh, resources real quick. They only have 100 fuel, but you can see I actually spawned in a second 76. So, let me run the two tank crews. Probably link up and join arms. Start getting to it. Damn. I'm like a weird tickle on my throat. I said, I'm like kind of stuffed up all of a sudden. So, I might need something spicy later to clear me out. Um. Once again. Ooh, actually. That 76 just got blowed up. And with 30 minutes left, easy. Let's say they're going to threaten this garrison. In fact, is that... Oh, for some reason, I thought that was it. <laughs> I mean, they're just south of it. Yeah, it's just north of us. Wait. Let's say. Yeah, it's right here. Interesting. Looks like my man's trying to seek it out, though. <clears throat> He's so close to figuring out where it is, it's hilarious. In fact, now he dies. Oh my god. So let's say that garrison stays alive. And once again, Otter's kind of controlling a little bit north of the point. But. Once again, man, these pushes. That garrison's lit up. Is that my man Widow again? No, that's Cooper. 
Taking on the garrison, is the Shaper gonna get him? It does. That's probably like twice in a row. <laughs> same garrison, same strafe, same result. Um. Yeah. Just under 30 minutes left of the match. This garrison going down looks like cost G's. He's gonna get it back up. I mean, at some point, probably gonna have to see something different be tried. I mean, they've they've been at this the whole match. Uh, <clears throat> might make it to where I don't know, maybe another airhead bombing run combo or something. But that being said, it's got to be a little bit discouraging seeing easy, you know, living here. Actually, tank just gets blown up. Sigrin line just lit up for a second, being contested. And easy just being a thorn in these otter garrisons. But. Don't mind me, I'm just kind of thinking. Uh, <laughs> a bit a little quiet there for a sec. Uh, seems to be like a... Kind of a Gordian knot. So... Yeah, I mean, it, it seems like, I mean, to me, it kind of looks like easy just has the answers to the test right now. You know, if you're otters, this is looking pretty rough. I mean, you still have 25 and a half minutes left. Anything's possible, but easy looking pretty content with a three, two, and they're going to do everything in their powers to hold it. Janitor just fucking nukes toxic NBK. Holy shit. My man just got dunked on by Janitor. Oh boy, he is. My man's cleaning up. Absolutely cleaning up. What a stud. <laughs> I love. I love seeing dudes just get a direct hit from a rocket. Straight up. I actually seeing something develop over here. You know, south of ruins. Got Bobby 077. Ocean with Pisces. And it's Sasquatch in the back. Looking like they're kind of setting up shop. What the fuck? Hold up. Hit this fucking dude. Oh, whatever. Yeah. Sorry, for some reason I'm getting all these fucking advertisements. It's like random fucking dudes in my chat being like, oh, I can make pictures and do cool shit. Uh, it's like, no, I'm, I'm good. If I need a new icon, I'll reach out to somebody. All right. <clears throat> but. That being said, I mean, this is pretty much the battle. Uh, Otter still... Like, pretty much this whole match... 
keeping map control. I mean, Easy's been up here. Easy's been pushing call trail, even though otters have been up here as well. But Easy just not fucking breaking, dude. <clears throat> I mean, you know it's bad when the commander's holding shift W. But he is trying. We're getting tanks and shit shooting at Forbes. Right, there's a medium, there's a heavy coming on in. Back, right, Otter's recon plane flying overhead. Just a little over 22 and a half minutes left in the match. Oh man, my scoreboard has not been up, but that is okay. I wanted to check resources. Uh, still have all three nodes up. That's good. Three hundred and thirty munitions, three hundred seventy-two manpower, one hundred and sixty fuel. Um, starting to come up on the end here, and actually we see Easy trying to nuke another garrison. Let me get the scoreboard back up since I'm just on it. Oh man, Dill Pickle. It's like. Oh. It's literally the same fucking straight. <laughs> that time, it looked like my man just fucking walked right into it. Right? Oh, man, it's like you hear it coming. Like, you just run, get away, do something. But, I mean, otters are so fixated on keeping a garrison somewhere in this area. I mean, you can't really fall easy for just, you know... Hey, let's just keep checking the spot. If they got one up, we'll take it down. And then get straight for our troubles. <clears throat> That's amazing, though. But, you know, we're coming up on the vinegar strokes here, folks. I mean, 21 minutes remaining and counting. Otters are going to need a play. You know, because easy, they just have a Gordian Knot stranglehold on Siegfried line. Yeah, pretty much their entire team. Except minus some guys, obviously. They're getting a contest on call trail. But not anymore. Guardsman and Maxi Pad put my man out of his misery. But, well, how much pressure? I mean, the front door is kind of dead for otters, but. Well, how much pressure otters have been generating on Siegfried Line? Easy cannot take a lot of dudes off to try to cap call trail. You know, you're only seeing like onesies and twosies, like even attempting to push out. <clears throat> but, cause, I mean, we see a huge northern push. Well, it's not really even a push. It's kind of hanging out. I know it's Hurricane Forest, like... Actually, Ocean just... nuked a tank. Nah, I'll go check out what that is in a sec. Now, I mean, I know they're trying to do, like, fire and maneuver kind of stuff, but... At some point, you gotta move. Like, man, Chip's here. Chip's getting balls deep. He's up around the bunker. Oh, no. Oh, of course, I'm not on Easy's team. I can't <laughs> see where their spawns are. Xan and Dill Pickle, though. Shutting down Chips. <clears throat> oh, yeah, Perps ATL. There is a comp scene. Uh, easy and Otters. You know, respectable up-and-coming NA comp teams. So. And Otters only have one dude anywhere in the four grids. 
So, you know, Easy just needs one guy to step in. Looks like a second guy spawns in. But they only need one guy to get into call trail, and it's gonna, you know, contest. Right, now the Geary's a little warm. Easy, though, doing a good job. They're holding the high ground just north of Siegfried Line. You got Zan, Cooper, Sith, Forbes, Costco Pizza. Holding off this otter push. And like I said, it's three dudes. Huge spawn wave. Well, I mean, five guys. Decent size spawn wave from uh, otters coming in to handle this. <clears throat> so. Is there a league website or community rankings? Uh, of course, I'm responding to this 15 minutes later. Uh, there is a system called the Hilo. It's like a Hello Loose ELO or ELO. Kind of similar to, uh, you know, the ELO that you find in like chess. <clears throat> um, but right now, there is no league going on, or at least there's no league that these guys are participating in. Of course, there is the seasonal, uh, Hello Loose Spring Seasonal. But. There's not like a, like a wide arching, like, you know, bracket kind of system. In fact, there's actually a dude that joined 10th that was like, asking me the same thing. I'm like, eh, closest thing you get to that to the Hilo. But it's not like, a, you know, this clan plays this clan, plays this clan, whatever. That being said though, finally getting some modern guys holding shift W. Chips, Scripture, Schmidt, and Nick. Getting up to it though, Forrest might make him pay. In fact, <laughs> wow. <clears throat> Big ol' mag dump. <laughs> I'm not even a mag dump, but just like a big fat burst. Um Yeah. Let me respond to this guy. Um, <clears throat> I guess that's just it, bro. <laughs> 15 and a half minutes left and otters just getting a garrison up behind this house. This, I mean, <clears throat> you actually just saw a guy die pretty much right on it. Um, I know they're kind of running out of spots to put Gary's, but this is like super exposed. Um, ah, it's such a rough spot. <clears throat> so, hold on, this guy's fucking bugging me. Um, Here, let me fucking these guys. Oh, shit. Let me do that. Why is it hidden? The fuck? Oh, that's amazing. I'll just hit invite. Oh man, fucking people bugging me on the internet.
That being said, though, 13 and a half minutes. Tried to keep the camera up while I was like answering people. People are fucking bugging me while I'm doing this. Uh, but no, <laughs> got. Feel free to hop in my chat anytime. Um, I just hate kind of pulling away from the action a bit. And plus, I'm on a 15 minute delay, so I can't really like get too involved in chat. Like I still want to because a lot of people have really good questions. Um, but yeah, you're looking at it, folks. Uh, 566 munitions. They have enough to play with. Same with manpower. Could get a bombing run airhead combo. 110 fuel. They do have a heavy on the field. Uh, looks like they spawn in a medium. But it's starting to become now or never time for otters. So... Yeah, easy versus otters. Coming on down to the wire. Let me take that off so we can watch. Like not an otter thing going down. In fact, easy's dropping ammo. That's hilarious. But hey, is that a flare? Yeah, they fired a flare off the map. I guess looking for dudes back there. Um, but yeah. Easy and otters. I mean, you even see like Jizzbeard the pirate. Like they're saying, screw it. They'll play infantry. Things looking dire for otters. I mean, and then you're easy. It's probably become an Alamo time. Although, as soon as I say that, they do get some pressure on Call Trail. Once again, be my man, Pisisk and Ocean. These two dudes have been back here this entire game. Um, so, yeah, they're making their presence known. You even got Bobby at Sasquatch and Toxic. You know, these guys are like back in here somewhere. You know, constantly just taking down otter shit. You know, nuking Garys and stuff. Like, now some capture progress. Although, once again, it's not much. 10 minutes and 40 seconds left. One spawn wave of two dudes kind of... nullifies that push. But Otter's looking like they're kind of running out of answers here. I mean, easy. Playing a nice wide deployment. I mean, at some point they're gonna they're gonna call something in. I know it, <clears throat> and they're probably gonna wait. I mean, there's still nine and a half minutes left. Because I actually casted a uh, there's a Friday night fight between Easy and 75th, which like 75th is basically Otters, um, and. Actually, 75th ended up winning on a bombing run airhead combo. Actually, one of my most popular videos on YouTube, if not my most popular. But, that being said, <clears throat> I do expect to see something similar to that here. Looks like otters are really trying to deep flank. Yep, here comes the bombing run, or the airhead. 
Uh, calling it a little bit up the road this time. And this already smoke has to be tipping off, old boy. In fact, already smoke missing the airhead. Maybe that's intentional, maybe that's not. Like, hey, just miss it a little bit. Um, yeah, airhead blueprints right there. So, I mean, easy. They have to look up in the sky and see this thing coming. Like, <laughs> like they missed the one earlier. Although, they're dropping smoke right on them. That, that's actually a tank. Well, tank and already smoke. With a bombing run and strafe to boot. Oh, man. Oh, no. He does it. Easy, not being fooled again. Get once again getting some pack, cap progress of like one dude. <laughs> hey, this whole game they'll uh basically just do that. Uh oh. It looks like easy answering with their own bombing run. Killing their own guy in the process. <laughs> oh man, you gotta love this shit. And Yeah, there is I would say Garrison close. But Otter Garrison, I guess this time they said screw it, let's build it in the red. But Logan like GG right here. They, they look like they are in no position to make a threat. Although, I mean, there's still six minutes left. Uh, can't say never, but... That airhead was kind of their last hope. Or at least last, like, real, like, significant hope. Although, that being said, this garrison just opened up. Oh, man. Let's see if this thing bears fruit. Oh, nope. Fuck. <laughs> I was about to say, you know, the airhead bombing run combo won't do it, but the garrison place on the wrong side of the red line will. That's amazing. But it doesn't. Easy though, pushing out. They're gonna find this. They they might. I mean, if you're otters, I mean, you're just trying anything at this point. But like, eh. I mean, but it was open for a second. I mean, they had like a massive spawn wave. I'd probably, we'd all probably have our jaws on the floor. But hey. You got to try something, man. <laughs> Easy has done an excellent job of taking their advantage of getting Siegfried line on the flip, dominating this area of the map. Anytime otters have even been in a position to approach, Easy have just shut them out. So, <clears throat> you know, huge props to Easy. Pretty much these four grid squares have been easy this entire game. Huge hats off to easy. And looks like otters are dropping a an ammo box. Try to throw easy off the scent of where otters are coming from. In fact, they're just charging down the hill. All this shit's hot. Gary's hot behind him. Although they do get a spawn off on that Gary. 
Probably got it down like right before old boy actually took it out. Although a man I heart Costco Pete's is definitely telling his boys, mark my fucking body. <laughs> there, there. This garrison is right on my body, dude. Oh man, that's amazing. Back seeing the half track play. Gotta zoom in on this shit. Okay. The only thing is, and it looks like Dang Nugs is already on it. Yeah, he's probably gonna sack this thing. Or. Yep. Actually, a tank comes in and takes it out. But. <laughs> And easy even called in a precision strike just to just to stick the dagger in and twist. But this one's looking like GG. I mean, we're just above two minutes. Those of you who do not know, it takes two minutes to cap. And once again, easy get a little bit of cap progress. But then it's just one dude. So, but this is looking like a three, two, you know, easy victory all, all day. So hands off to both teams, man. This is a hard fought fucking match, you know, easy. Like I said, Siegfried line kind of leans the access way, but we saw otters make some good pressure. You know, they had guys in the strong point getting ready to cap. You know, a couple trades go either way. You know, could have a completely different game. You know, just a spawn gets wiped, a kill here, an already round lands a little differently, whatever. You know, huge game, man. Props to easy. That being said, though, let's look at the score since this one's kind of in the bag. Uh, our, our beloved tank crew, 2300, not bad. Uh, of course, some of these guys are tankers. Scripture with 833, he might have nuked some tanks. Chip, 611. Uh, Commander, of course, is wiser, 4500 building score. I mean, looking like some pretty good steak fries guy, 417, cost 482. Pretty solid scores, man. Sith, 775. So. Both teams balling out. Ketzel, he might have been a tanker. Pisces, constantly saw this dude behind the lines. Ocean. Forbes, almost 600. But just like that. Easy tack team. Uh, <laughs> next practice is going to be how to drive a truck. Uh, seemed to do all right against us last night, but man. Um, who's getting my command? Uh, let's go Haggard. Balls of steel. Charging into that point. Fucking slinging dong. Uh, hell of an effort, man. I mean, like I put in the chat, you know, Siegfried line is an absolute pain in the ass and I got to take commander promoted. That's hilarious. Uh, here, let's talk to, I guess first let's get out of that. Um, and then let's see. Rinjar is messaging me. Holy fuck balls. <laughs> oh man um i think we're doing some post-game interview stuff pretty sure um 
So I guess stay tuned. As far as what I think, uh, I don't want to say Easy Got Lucky because, you know, Otters made them earn that win straight up. Uh, Easy might have been a little fortunate, you know, getting Siegfried line. Really tough point to take, you know, as the allies, especially for after rip. But that being said, though, man, I mean, Easy pretty much did everything in their power <laughs> to just deny Otters, you know. I don't want to say just deny them offense because, like, there were times where Otters pretty much got into the point. Uh, you know, had some guys, you know, getting some frags, taking out some spawns. Um, but it seemed like, you know, Easy was disciplined. You know, Garrison would get a bombing run right on its head, instantly replace it with another. Um, it just seemed like Easy was always able to spawn back in, get enough numbers to hold the point. Because, I mean, Otters did not make that easy. I mean, we saw it. Basically had a nice little elf formation, you know, kind of boxing in Siegfried line. Um, sometimes it looked like Easy would kind of punch, like, right through where the two lines meet. But, I mean, easy. They they grinded it for 90 minutes, and you have to do that. Uh, that's what it took. It's kind of game it turned into. Um, especially, you know, <laughs> some matches, the opener only, the opener always only gets you so far, and then it's like, okay, well, now what? Um, and both teams, you know, that was a slugfest. That was... Let's grind this fucking match out. So, it looks like Bringer is sending over Toxic. Oh, man. Toxic MBK. Should be joining me in a bit. Maybe him in Scripture. Um, so, I'm just chilling like a villain. Uh, Maxi Pad. He just joins. Let's give him a roll, unit leader. So we'll see how it goes. If they wanna hop in the transfer room, you know, I kinda of drag him up, do my thing. Um uh, I don't know. I'll have to <laughs> I'll have to message Bryn Jar and say, hey, just tell him hop in the transfer room. All right. So, what a match, man. What an absolute match. I'll tell you what, at times it was kind of, <laughs> you know... <laughs> Probably a mistake if we're watching paint dry a little bit, but, you know. When a match is that tight, you know, 3-2, you have that. Um, <clears throat> so, yeah, I'm not sure. I imagine they're coming. I gotta rip this. I haven't ripped it pretty much the whole time. So, I imagine they're on their way. So, if they don't show up in a few minutes, I'm just going to call it. But, my luck, it's like as soon as I put my finger on the stop stream button, they're going to show. But, oh yeah, it's speaking of the devil. All right. So, the winning commander of the match, my man Toxic NBK from Easy, has just joined me in the chat. How you doing, my man? How you feeling? What's going on, Matthews? Uh, pretty good. That was like a ninety-minute grind fest. Yeah, I mean, I'm feeling pretty good though. <laughs> yeah, it it always feels good being on top of like a three-two, just ninety-minute slugfest. Uh, I mean, I I guess what I saw that I really liked was you guys capped the midpoint and like immediately had like a little bit of pressure on the fourth. Um, was that something you guys would like start integrating your game? 
uh that was definitely something that we planned out so if it we were kind of testing to see how it would work out and uh if it continues to work well for us then we'll continue to use it <laughs> yeah 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 because i mean um i don't i don't want to say like you know you guys were like blessed getting siegfried line um but that's what i told my guys <laughs> <laughs> but i mean it is it is an extremely hard point to take as the allies um i mean it can be done like we've we've seen it but um, it's one of those points that, you know, if you're the otters, you really have to sell into if you really want to get capture progress. So you guys being able to get some guys, you know, on to call trail to force them to pull back a little bit, I think was kind of instrumental when you guys like kind of gaining the upper hand for a while. Uh, w would you agree with that? Yeah, definitely. Um, we had, uh, a a team that went back there and uh, their specific job was to basically just always have pressure on their second point, whatever it was. Um, so in this case, it was cultural, but, you know, just so that if they ever decide to, you know, to full send, we would start, you know, immediate cap weight on cultural and then they would be forced to pull at least a handful of guys back to deal with it so that they can never actually just, you know, put the pedal to the metal and just send their entire force at us. Yeah, because that's, uh, I mean, crazy enough, that's actually, uh, um, when, when we played you guys on Foy, uh, as Big Red Mountain, uh, that's actually the same thing we did. We were like, hey, let's just get enough bodies, like, onto N30 Highway to where if they really try mounting up an attack, we're going to start capping. So, uh, it, it works, <laughs> especially, <laughs> especially when you're up 3-2, because then it's like, uh, you know. Because, like, for them, like, they have to defend that. Um, Because, you know, you guys, you have the upper hand. It's like, hell yeah, like, let's just get some pressure on them. Just force them to not fully buy in. Um, But but even in that case, it seemed like any time they were finally mounting a big push, like, you guys were the rock that broke the wave. Like... You guys, you guys were positioned very well. You guys, you know, constantly won trades. I mean, they'd had some guys shift W, but it seemed like as soon as they were in a position to make a play, you know, somebody would step up. So, uh, hats off to you, yeah. man. That was that was a great effort. Yeah, there was a couple of times where it got a little hairy, um, where they, I mean, where they were inside the hard cap. You know, the Gary would go down even, and they would be in the hard cap, but we would just managed to just you know stay calm collect ourselves and just you know methodically push them back out but they they kept constant pressure the entire time we never you know we from the start of the the of you know the match all the way up until the end um you know everyone with both teams were at uh siegfried line so we never actually we never managed to really clear them out um they would, you know, they would be pushing from them across the river, and then we would stop, like a, you know, the river push, and we would get behind them and take out garrisons or what have you. Then they would, then they would just completely, you know, shift to an attack from the north from Scar. Then we would deal with that, and then they would just completely refocus back again to crossing the river. They were dropping airheads on us. They had half tracks. They had everything in their arsenal to, you know, constantly keeping pressure on us. Yeah, I mean there there were some times they were throwing the kitchen sink at you guys. Yeah. Um, and actually crazy enough, they had they had to plan this out. There's a bush like just west of Siegfried line. And they dropped an airhead in it twice. And the first time you took it out with the bombing run but the second time, there was, like, three easy dudes that ran past it because it was, like, decently concealed in this bush. And I I just thought in my head, like, man, if they get a fat spot on this, it might be GG. But then, once again, that team that you had that was just, like, hey, just pester them, you know, just poke them in the side when they try, like, attacking us. You know, all of a sudden, you get a little bit of cat progress, and then half the guys that were going to the airhead not going to spawn back. Um, yeah, and there, there there was a moment there where they 
it, we're, we're, I know exactly probably what you're talking about, where it turned into like a cap race where both of us were over halfway at each point. And we were just a little bit, at, I mean, cause, because of the fact that we had those guys there at the culture already, we were winning that cap race and we were at like, like maybe like four fifths of the way capping call trail. They were probably like three fourths of the way capping Siegfried. And then they reset their attack to back to defense. They cleared our guys out of call trail, but then we were able to run down the hill essentially and clear out any remaining OPs and just like reset the game. Yeah. And there, there were a couple of times, especially kind of like right before that point, where I even said in the commentary, like, dude, if Easy could just get a couple guys running down the hill and burn these outposts, you know, they would really set Otters back. And it, it seemed like that was, like, the pivotal point in the battle where you finally had some guys do that. And once you did, it was, like, the upper hand's firmly in Easy's control. Um, yeah, but- and, I, I, and I know exactly, down to, there towards the um, southern part of the, or the edge of the map like where the – where the river is, how there's like that little trench area with the bunkers. Mm-hmm. We knew that they were spawning in there and we kept trying to get guys down there, but open hill that they have to run down get the line, they would get picked off in that field every single time in no man's land. Oh yeah. I mean I I did notice otters seemed like they were pretty content to just kind of chill and like, you know, camp for a sec. I mean I don't know. Like they it seemed like some fire maneuver, but then like nobody was really maneuvering for a while. You know what I mean? <laughs> so it's probably probably where they caught you guys running down the hill. Um, that being said, I'm not sure. I I thought some guys from Otters would have come, or would have came. Uh, but I guess I'll get a couple minutes. I mean, you want to bask in some glory or something? You know that was that was a really tough match, and uh. Yeah, I mean, you guys got a little bit of an advantage getting Siegfried line, but, you know, at that point, it's your point to lose, and you guys did a phenomenal job of holding it and still, you know, making it work, grinding for 90 minutes. That's a fucking challenge, dude. I mean, hats off, man. It's an an, 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 an test. (laughs) Yeah, and I mean, because, like, you know, time's passed, and it's like, oh, there's... You know, we're a half hour in, there's an hour left. Oh, we're 40 minutes in, you know, like yeah. it, it just seemed like with the passage of time and seeing how like otters were like positioned, you know, cause they basically had you guys in like an L like boxed in the Siegfried line, like the entire time for a while. Um, you guys just refused to break. I think that's, that's what won you this match is just your refusal to quit. Yeah. And we just, uh, you know, and with our act, with our front line, we try to, um, you know, apply oh. outward pressure essentially. But um, we had kind of like an, like we knew that they were in an L, and we were like basically in a defensive L the entire time around the point, trying to push. It. But again, like the only real attack we had was uh, that flanking team that was over at Call Trail the whole game. Yeah, I mean, just enough get some cap progress, you know, force them to respond to it. But that being said, Scripture and Maxi Pad just joined me in the chat. Uh, I guess whichever one you guys wants to go first. I mean, how are you guys feeling after that one? I'm feeling great. I ran the defense. We did our job. <laughs> Daddy's script over here. On the other hand. Uh, Whoa, that's got a couple <laughs> tigers. You can suck. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we had a, it was a bad opener, really. I got the call out in command chat that they got the opening truck stuck. I was like, well, let's go ahead and tie it up for a 90 minute game. Oh, Ooh. man. <laughs> well, yeah, it is it is what it is. We definitely got to work on probably our MG play. Like, Easy's MG setup like definitely showed us that our guys definitely need to work on the MG playing. That's what we were just talking about. It's like, I think at one point we might have had like one MG on our whole team, right? Everybody else was running completely different ro- uh, roles. So we're definitely going to have to step up our MG positioning. And I think that's really what kind of held us back from getting any really good attack on, because you'd kill one MG and then like two more easy MGs would be on you immediately. So yeah, definitely kudos to their MG placement. I think we looked at the Archon already and saw that like our our top three killers were all MG players. Damn, even Alfrag and the Artie. Um, 
I didn't look at the Archon myself, but I don't know if he was including Artie in that. He may have just been including basic infantry. <laughs> okay. Yeah, you all, had, you all had one guy that outfragged Artie. Artie was number two. Damn. All right. <laughs> uh, I know I was just giving my man Toxic some praise. Uh, Chris, me being just an innocent bystander here. Um, I I, I was curious because, like, Looking at the opener, I saw like wow, there's like not a lot of otter dudes close to the point, um, and then I just see like the blue wave coming over the hill, and I'm like, oh shit, something happened. Um, and, and Siegfried line, I mean that's, yeah, I'm not gonna say easy was lucky getting that point, but that is a hard fucking point to take as the allies, especially against like you know pretty established opponent. Um, I guess after that, I mean scripture, you said you knew you were pretty much locked into a 90 minute battle. I mean, what, what were you guys trying to accomplish? Like right after that point? Um, after the point of the truck getting stuck and our opener kind of being ruined or because at <laughs> that point we were just trying to we're like, all right, we got to read, we got to reposition, get our attack garrisons up, ready to roll. Cause it's pretty much just everybody's now two or three minutes behind where they're supposed to be. You know what I mean? So we're essentially just trying to get everybody up to where they're supposed to, so we can start our attack you know, against an opponent that is now dug in on, as you would say, a hard point for the allies to take now becoming even harder because the opponent is now dug in, right? So it really just, at that point, getting our front line up and then getting our flex squad trying to crack them from behind, and it just uh, didn't turn out in our favor, but, you know, definitely a good game for sure. Yeah. Max, Pat, you got anything to add? No, I guess it was, like Scripture said, it was tough off the rip. Uh Got to practice the openings a little bit more against these well-ran teams. So helps out a lot when you do that and then not let them get dug in off the rip. I was going to say, you guys seemed to do just fine last night. What the hell happened? <laughs> uh, <laughs> well, it was a flat map against a hill map. <laughs> uh, yeah, tr yeah, and you got a lot of trees, a lot of obstacles. I was going to say, in our match, you guys were like, you guys beat us there. It's like, damn, all right. Uh, But, that, I mean, hey. That being said, though, the scripture said it best, a hard point. Now it just got a lot harder. I mean, that being said, though, you guys kept so much pressure on easy. I mean, a nice, like, L bracket. They were pretty much boxed into Siegfried line. I mean, some guys would kind of squirt through, like, where the two lines would meet. Um, I mean, you, you'll see it on the stream. There's, like, a, a Pisces and, like, Ocean, like, an art, like a recon guy would go on kind of like hit you like right at that pivot point but i mean you guys had so much pressure for a huge majority of that match i'm kind of surprised you guys weren't able to break it but um i mean kudos you guys kept your foot on the gas and it almost worked uh, yeah. there was really only one point where we had to bring because we ran like six guys on defense the whole time so it's only one point where we really had to bring people back at all yeah, because they were, they were like, uh, I mean, it seemed like Easy would literally only have like one or two or maybe three guys. And, you know, just enough to where when you really pull off to push, you know, some cap progress is going to happen. But, um, I mean, you guys did a really good job, like, not overreacting a lot. I mean, maybe like one or two times. But for the most part, it was just kind of let's keep up this formation, this, uh, these two attack angles. And I thought, it, like I said, I was kind of surprised there were a few times you didn't break it, but you guys got really close a few times. I really think that's kind of like Otter's speciality now is just the fact that we just keep the gas on, which is why sometimes we're able just to run over some teams because it's just, it's, we're going to play for the full 90 minutes and it's going to be us rushing for the full 90 minutes, you know? So it is what it is. Hopefully next time easy. We're definitely looking forward to another rebound match pretty soon. So Hell yeah, I look forward to it also. That was a really fun, really tough match. <laughs> Hell yeah. Well, hopefully I get the cast again. Oh, that was, <laughs> that was pretty fun to watch, honestly. Um, but that being said, I mean, I guess we're going to get close to wrap it up. I mean, you guys can hang out and bullshit if you want. Uh, I guess closing thoughts from Toxic, and then we'll go Scripture in the Maxi Pad. Anything from you, my man? Toxic? Um, just, uh, just want to congratulate my guys. You know, they, I know that he, I, uh, asked a lot of them in the last 90 minutes and they, uh, they performed well and they, they did their jobs and they did what they had to do. So 
congratulations to all the easy guys that participated and uh uh congratulations also to uh to otters for giving us hell for 90 minutes because that shit was relentless and uh thank you matthews for casting it dude anytime man uh scripture same as always we're getting better every week we're coming for anybody and everybody thank you guys for playing us thank you for casting dude like anytime man i love doing this shit and then uh my man maxi pad not much appreciate y'all casting us appreciate easy coming out it was fun we'll do it again Hell yeah. And a uh, huge thank you to anybody tuning in. Got some followers. Uh, maybe some otter guys. Uh, I might as well end the thing now so that way you guys can actually look back and watch this thing. I'm kind of babbling for a minute. But huge thank you to Toxic, Scripture, and MaxiPad coming in here bullshitting with me for a minute. Um, excellent match. 90 minutes. Easy coming out with a 3-2 dub. Can't really ask for much better than that. Hell, I But anyways, everybody have a good night. See you guys on the next one. And uh, that's all I got. So go away. <laughs> <laughs>